All right, just trying to uncork some sub sub low bass out of these four 18 inch Yamaha cabs. And this is what I came up with. This is something um, just kind of stumbled upon, but it's kind of old school, new school kind of thing. So this amplifier right here has, it's a 2.1 amplifier and this right here controls the two top subs right here. Okay. And this dedicated Fosse Audio sub amplifier right here controls the two bottom 18 inch subs, right? Powers them. Problem I'm having with this amplifier right here was that the sub frequency, let me get in here a little bit closer, is a little weak. Gain is kind of sort of okay in the volume, so it just wasn't quite marrying up all four uh, subs were just not kind of gelling together. So what I need to do is increase the cutoff, the crossover on this one even lower than what is on the sub frequency dial right here. I don't know what the number is, but what it ended up doing is two things. And I increase the input using this line level stereo uh, preamp and also check out this behind here this is actually kind of nifty you can actually get these online I am using some Harrison uh, line level crossovers these are rated at 50 Hertz it's a low-pass filter is basically what it is made by Harrison see right here and what that does is I have the subwoofer out on here going, or a line out actually, this is a line out. It goes into here, gets amplified, and then before it reaches the amplifier, I filter out even more. So what I'm getting is a, a, a much lower crossover on the bottom two subs down here and it is just freaking phenomenal sounding uh, what I did kind of old school slash new school I don't have DSP um, you know digital sound processing and this is just kind of you know just putting your freaking thinking cap on and saying hey let's try this and it freaking worked it's worked it's just that these Chinese amplifiers they're they're almost there this is a good solid little sub amplifier so if you i mean it's not a 3000 water it's like 300 watts but it does pretty damn good with uh stage level high spl subs like these i mean these things they're not like car subs that you need a lot of power to get them to go these don't require a hell of a lot of power to make them freaking go loud at all a couple hundred watts and you're you're doing pretty good now i've got a couple of 3,000 watt amplifiers I could throw on them, but you really don't need it out here in the garage. It'll it'll shake the living shit out of the garage with just these two guys rolling. So there you have it. So essentially, just a modified subwoofer amplifier because this sub frequency right here was pissing me off, and I got it turned all the way down to the lowest crossover, and then I cross it over again, and then I reamplified it with this guy right here. So it's working out pretty freaking perfect. I mean, it's it's kind of reminds me of like going to a movie theater in the 1970s when they had, you know, like a really cool movie and they had these old freaking speakers that would just rattle the whole damn movie theater. That's what this kind of reminds me of. And that's the sound I wanted to get was a more freaking movie theater, just knock your socks off gut low bass and that's what these two guys are now doing and I can control these two guys just with a normal subwoofer crossover and what it does it just creates a freaking unbelievable amount of uh, bass coming out of there so just thought I'd share that with you got some copyright free music going on here and I'll shut up for a second maybe turn it up just a little bit so you can hear of course there's no bass It'll drop here. Nice. 
nice. So nice. All right, there you have it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.